Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, I know it's been a minute since I made a video, guys. Uh, it's been uh, rough for us, you know, the past few weeks. And I was just, my mind was not set on making videos, you know. My mind just, just set, set, you know, thinking about my pets, about our new pets that we have also. Life is all about change and we have to accept it and we have to adapt, okay? Uh, now, that being said, guys, uh, I just like wanted to take a break from this whole environment, uh, from social media, from... Uh, making videos. I just wanted to focus on, on my family first and then <sighs> but I'm back, okay? On today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing the newest, the newest watch from 6017. This is number one. So I got this a few weeks ago guys. Um, I'm going to be comparing uh, on touch to see how I feel about them, how they compare, you know. I'm going to re read you also some, some information from the website. Um, but I I'm just going to tell you what I think, okay? So before I read any of the information, I just want to see how they feel, okay? So I have in here number number one, I have in here number three, which is also coconut wax, I have in here number seven, and I have in here number nine. Okay guys, so I'm going to feel them first before I read any kind of information, okay? I'm going to tell you all about them. And I'm gonna be making a candle using the Baltic Amber also from 6017, okay? Number one wax, guys, is a designer natural coconut wax soy blend. Okay, so let me see how it feels. It's very hard. I think it's hardest. I think this is the hardest one from all of them. Let's see, let me see how it breaks. Let me just take a knife and let me see how it breaks. See? Okay, no, I don't know if you can see it, but it's very white, it's very silky. Uh, it tends to crack. Like typical soy wax, okay. That, uh, but this is coconut soy and a little bit of palm wax, okay. Now let's see the other wax. The one in here is number three. This is a coconut wax. This the uh, designer natural coconut wax blend, okay. So let's see how it is, how it feels. Okay, this is also very hard for coconut wax, you know. And let's see how it cuts. Oh, much. This one is much softer than number one, okay? It doesn't crumble like the number one does. Okay, so let's see. Okay, the one on, on the front in here is number seven, which is my favorite one. That's the one that I use for all my candles. Okay, so this is between, in, in, it comes in hardness, okay, and it, and it comes in crumbliness also. Uh, it's, be it's between uh, these two, between number one and number three, okay? And this one is more yellowish in, in tint uh, from all of them. The one that I think is, the, is the, uh, the widest one is number nine. Okay, now let's see number nine. Number nine is also very hard. Wow, it's for coconut wax. But when you cut it with a knife, it's like butter again, and again, it's very soft, okay? So this would be perfect, guys, for candles that you want the maximum addition, you know, like you don't want to see any, any, any wet spots, you know. You want to try like this kind of waxes, like the coconut uh, blend waxes, guys, because it's, uh, it melts at a lower temperature, okay, and you are going to get less wet spots using these waxes. Okay, look, so let me read the information, guys. Okay, I'm going to read the information for number one wax first. This is from the website. Our new wax blend number one is an exclusive blend of natural waxes consisting predominantly of coconut wax, accompanied by soy and a small amount of food grade paraffin number one, needs small wigs. We recommend our CDM series and a five day cure for a developed hot throat. We recommend heating slightly past 200 Fahrenheit, adding fragrance oil no lower than 200. Okay, these high temperatures, temperatures help the wax and the fragrance oil bind. You will not burn your fragrance oil, regardless of the flash point. Okay, you only need to stir your fragrance oil for about 20 seconds and pour immediately. Recommend the pouring temperature is around 185, although this wax can be poured hotter than without issue. Okay, fragrance load. Number one can accommodate a fragrance load up to 12% with most fragrance oils. Please conduct your own testing to ensure candle safety as fragrance, as each fragrance oil may behave differently. Okay, so the melt point for this is 127 to 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see, now for number three. Number three is an exclusive blend of natural waxes consisting predominantly of coconut wax, accompanied by soy 
RSPO palm and a small amount of food grade paraffin. Number three needs small weeks. We recommend our CDM week series and a two week cure for developed hot throat. We recommend heating slightly past 200 Fahrenheit and adding the fragrance oil no lower than 200. Okay, again, this, like the other one, that will help to bind the fragrance and the wax. But again, you have to conduct your own testing as any fragrance oil may behave differently. Okay, number nine. A beautiful blend of coconut wax that is true, one pour wax designed to achieve both exceptional hot and cold throw. Accompanied by a natural amount of food grade paraffin, number nine, Nick's small weeks. We recommend our CDN week series and a three day cure for a developed hot throw. My God, that's amazing. Okay, fragrance load. Number nine can accommodate a fragrance load between 10 to 12% with most fragrance oils. And again, the melt point for this is 124 to 128 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for number seven, which is the one that I use, my favorite so far, a sophisticated blend of soy waxes accompanied by a small amount of full gray paraffin. Number seven needs small wigs. We recommend our CDN week series and a two week cure for a developed hot throw. Okay guys, I have to be honest with you. Number seven, I only cure, I only cure for two days and I always get amazing, amazing hot throw. I tested this so many times guys, and I'm telling you, it's perfection for me. Okay, this number seven wax can accommodate fragrance load between 10 to 12%, and melt point is between 127 and 132 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna be making a candle using number one wax, okay guys? So let me just put this aside. Now for this candle, guys, I'm gonna be using the Baltic Amber from 6017. It's beautiful. This is part of the uh, West Coast collection, and I'm gonna be using a CDN number seven. Okay, for this kind of wax, guys, you need to wake up, okay? It says in here, uh, test it with waxes number three and number seven and number nine. We like, they like, they recommend to use, for this guys, they recommend you to use a single CDN number six. If you're using number one wax, they recommend you to wick one size, one or two sizes up, okay guys? So I'm gonna wick this candle using a CDN number seven, okay? And let's see what happens. Okay guys, so let me just uh, arrange all this and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay guys, time to make the candle. I'm gonna use a one CDN number seven, okay? I'm gonna wick up one series, okay? And I'm gonna press really hard. And again, I'm gonna use number one wax to see how this works out, guys. I have high hopes. Every single wax from 1617 to me, it's a huge hit, guys. It all depends on what you wanna use it for. I think this is the best wax for you to try for the summer months and when it's very hot, guys, and for shipping, so this one will more melt. So let's see how much uh, I need for this. Let's see, I'm gonna need eight ounces of wax. Okay, so let me just, okay, so let's see. Tear, let's see how much I have in here. Two, okay, so I'm gonna need a few more. Guys, uh, so we got two puppies and you can hear them in the background. Yelping, I just fed them. You have to feed them like so many times during the day. Okay, this is 6.1, perfect, eight ounces. They came in from Iowa. They are 14 weeks old, actually 15, and they are almost completely housebroken. They only had a couple of accidents inside on the playpen, you know, uh, but they are trained to go in the grass outside, so it's great. So I'm gonna melt this on the microwave on high for six minutes. Okay, and I have to decide which fragrance oil I wanna use for this, which of course has to be one from, from 6017. Okay, so let me just go into the closet and pick one. Okay guys, so for this beautiful candle, I'm gonna be using your name is an adverb. Okay, these are the, uh, the scent profile. I use the top notes, it's juniper and moss, uh, middle notes, saffron and nutmeg, and the base notes, cognac and palo santo. <sighs> it's very masculine, it's very, it makes a statement. I think it's very, it's great for the holidays. I think it's, uh, it's great for all year round, guys. Let me just put this to the side. It's an all year round candle and people are gonna love it okay now for this i'm going to need let's see if i have 10 percent fragrance load so i'm gonna do the numbers for you guys okay let me see eight times 0 0.10 equals 0 0.8 ounces of fragrance oil okay let me make a note of that ounces of fragrance oil okay so then if i take eight minus 0.8 equals 7.2 ounces of wax. Okay, and guys, these are my numbers. I know people use different formulas. You know, I say, you know, whatever works for you guys, just go for it, okay? So this is what's gonna be doing for me now. So I'm gonna need 0 0.08. Your name is an adverb. Okay, again, I want this to be between 202 to 10. Let me just get the thermometer. Okay, it's 213, perfect. With the fragrance oil. I'm gonna wait a few seconds just to let it hang out there and then I'm gonna stir for 20 seconds. 
I'm following the direction from 6017 guys. All you need to steer for 20 seconds. Okay, it's 189. So I'm going to pour between 180 and 185. Why I do that is because I want to make sure that the wig sticker does not come off, okay? So I'm going to secure this with a stabilizer. This is called a wig stabilizer and look perfectly done. So yes guys, I'm going to be conducting an HD test for this to give you my honest review and to see how this reacts. Okay, 185, you know, to see how the HD develops and to see how the candle looks, okay? I'm not going to put any color. I'm just going to leave it be shine on its own. Let me just get a paper towel here. Okay, time to pour, guys. Time to pour. Come on, beautiful. And again, always use safety gloves because it's very hot. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this cure for a couple of days and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay, guys, welcome back. So we have in here the beautiful candle. Yeah! The CT is amazing, guys. I'm telling you guys, every single wax that I get from 1617, I always get amazing CT. I'm telling you, after, even after, after 24 hours, guys. So it's been three days since I made this candle. And I'm going to be conducting a hot throw test. I'm going to be placing this candle in our master bedroom. And let's see how it behaves. Okay, guys. I, I'm going to abstain from burning candles on the main room. Being that we got two new puppies and they're very young. I don't want to expose them to any kind of... Um, scent in the room, you know, so until they are fully developed and uh, into adult, okay? So I'm not going to be burning any candles for a few months on the main room, okay? So I'm going to go upstairs, guys. I'm going to, let's see. And again, this is a CDN number seven, a wick top, like they recommended. Again, this is number one wax, guys, and I'm using, your name is not verb, okay, guys? So uh, I'm going to put it upstairs, guys, and I'll be back in an hour, okay? Yeah! Hey guys, this is the candle. It's burning beautifully. It's been almost an hour and the mail pool is forming beautifully. Uh, the HD uh, is still on the works. So, but I'm very happy so far by the way it's burning. I placed it on the master bathroom because um, there's no draft. As you can see, the flame is very nice and steady. And yeah, so I'm gonna come back in another hour, guys, and, and give you my final assessment, okay? Okay, guys, so it's been two hours. Uh, the candle is burning beautifully. The mail pool is not there yet. So I'm not concerned about it, guys. All I know is that the flame is perfect and the HD is decent. It's not amazing yet, but I'm pretty sure that the longer you wait, the better it's gonna become, okay, guys? So I'm very satisfied with the way this candle is burning, guys. I'll be back in another hour, okay? Yeah! Okay, guys, so it so happens that I didn't have the microphone on. So let me just start it over again. Okay, so the candle with the CDN number seven wick, guys, did not work. Uh, it, it burned for almost four hours and I have a stick of uh, wax all the way around it, guys. And it's also the burn was not giving me enough uh, hot throw that I was expecting for, guys. So I decided to uh, remelt the wax. I'm remelting the wax. I'm gonna prep the, the vessel again and I'm gonna be using a CDN number eight. So I'm going up one more size, okay? So I went from CDN number six, which is what I regularly use when I use my other waxes from 1617, I'm gonna be using a CDN number eight. So I'm, I'm going up two sizes, okay? So let me just do that right now. It so happens that the microphone wasn't working and I did all this for you. And unfortunately, that's the way things are. Huh? Okay, guys, so like I told you, I'm rusty because I haven't done a video in a long time. So I just wanted to do this in camera for you to guys to see, okay? So I'm gonna put CDN number eight on the vessel. This is the Baltic Gold vessel from 6017 for the West Coast collection. Okay, so let me just secure this now. Again, guys, making candle is all about testing. You know, you, when something doesn't work, just try something different, okay? And I just want this wax to really work for me, you know? And it's not fair for me to give you a, an assessment of something that it could be done better. So that's what I'm, I'm doing with you guys, okay? So remember, testing is key when you're making a candle, okay? Again, I'm using number one wax, okay? Designer Natural Coconut Soy Wax Blend, okay? This is a very hard wax, and 1617 recommends to you uh, to wick one size or two size bigger than they recommend. That's what we have to do, guys. We have to do the testing, okay? So the wax is almost done. Okay, the wax is very hot. I'm gonna wait for this to cool down guys and then i'm gonna make uh, the new candle guys i'm gonna be back once the candle solidifies i'm gonna wait three more days so i'm gonna make a six days of cure time okay and i'll run another test okay guys so the video continues yeah. hi guys welcome back so this is the real week candle that i uh, i've been curing up for three days okay so in total six days that i made this candle the city is amazing guys i'm telling you i'm using this beautiful scent from 1617 your name is an adverb Okay, this is a huge hit, and I'm using number one wax, okay? And I'm using a CDN number eight. So I went up two sizes, 
when I'm making this candle. That's what 16, recommend, uh, 16, 17 recommends. And they were right because on the first pair, like you saw, uh, the melt pool did not form completely. And I just want to make sure that, and you know how candle making is guys, you have to test, test, test until you get it right, okay? So I'm going to be burning, I'm going to be uh, uh, doing a hot throw test again. Uh, I'm going to be burning it in this room, guys, because as you know, I got I just got two new puppies and I won't be burning any candles near them until they become adult. OK, so and let's hope that this gives me an amazing hot throw like the, all the other waxes from 6017. OK, guys, so let me just I'm going to leave it burning here, guys, and I'll be back in about an hour. OK, yes. OK, guys, so let me show you. It's been an hour and a half and look at the mail pool. The HT is amazing, guys. I'm very happy. So, because I'm gonna be going to the gym right now, guys, and I'm gonna be uh, doing a, a power burn. So, I wanna show you what I do, guys. So, I take a K pan like this, and I'm gonna put some water because I'm not gonna be home. I just wanna make sure that, God forbid, something happens to the candle. There's water in here, and if something spills or whatever happens, I just uh, it's safe in there. Okay, guys. So, I'll see you back when I come back from the from the gym. But so far, I'm very happy. Yes, and the HT is amazing. Okay guys, so it's been five hours since I started this, doing this burn test. Again, I'm using number one wax. This is the coconut soy blend, guys. The new wax from 6017, and I'm using this fragrance oil. It's a Your Name's an Adverb. Uh, top note is Juniper and Moss. Middle note, Saffron and Nutmeg. And base note, Cognac and Palo Santo. I'm telling you guys, it's a huge hit. It's a huge hit. I love it. It's very strong, very, it makes a statement. You know, it's just like, Wow, it's something so different from all the rest of the oils, guys. And the way this candle kind of burned, it was perfection. It gave me the perfect melt pool. In fact, between four or five hours, you know, it's. I'm very happy with it, guys. And, you know, when I was running this, the burn was perfect. The, uh, the flame was like an inch high, a little bit less than that, you know. And, like I told you, like I showed you before, guys, I like to use a cake pan with water, so whenever I'm gonna be using, uh, making power burns, guys, I like to put a little bit of water on the cake pan and I look and I put the candle in there and I leave it burning because I'm not gonna be supervising it. So if something happens, God forbid, and the candle shatters or you know, you never know, everything is gonna fall into the water and it's gonna be okay. So safety first, okay guys? So anyway, I just wanna thank you for joining me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and also check out my website, CandleRomas.show. I'm running a holiday sale, guys. Don't forget the big candles, the 14 and 16 ounces candles, guys. They are 50% off. Take advantage of that sale because once they're gone, they're gone, and I'm not going to be making them anymore. And the smaller, the smaller candles, the, the eight ounce candles, are 20% off, and also the wax melt. Okay, guys. So check it out. Anyway, thank you for coming today, guys, and for giving me your time. Uh, I'll see you next video, guys. Uh, be well and take care. Yeah, success, success. Yeah.